Merry Christmas everybody and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to the smallest to the largest thing in the universe, the ultimate size comparison by In A Nutshell. Alright man, so like I said before, Merry Christmas. It's a wonderful, wonderful time of the year and I don't quite like it as much as I do Halloween or anything so I didn't have anything planned, but Merry Christmas regardless. If you celebrate, if you not, Happy thanks Thanksgiving. Happy everything else, man. Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, everything, man. I, if you celebrate literally anything, have happy, happy, happy. <laughs> but if you don't celebrate, man, just be happy regardless, dude. Just be happy. But on to this, man. I'm just really, really excited. And my gift to y'all guys is going to be, in a nutshell, or Kurtz to get all week long. Because I missed quite a lot. And they're kicking into overdrive, man. So I want to kind of keep up. And if they keep, like, randomly just shoehorning a bunch of stuff out there then i'm gonna slowly pick them in the future but for now i'm gonna try to react to all of them man but this one the one i'm gonna start out with got me really excited dude because like i, I love comparison like size comparisons in general you know like ant-man that movie is the reason why i love it man is the like he turns small and then the the perspective is like completely different you know same with gundams like they actually have the model kits like size comparison you know to where like you could tell like if, as long as you have the same grade you know like if you have all of them in high grade they should be like one should be taller than the other one because that's how they are in the anime you know so it's really really cool stuff and i think i like the comparison more than i like the actual size itself but regardless man this should be really really exciting and i've babbled a really long time for this intro so without any further ado here is the smallest to the largest thing in the universe a three-story building is about hey, 10 why are we starting with the house six times bigger than you <laughs> i wanted to go in like metascopic six times smaller than you oh you get things maybe like we are a cute squirrel about 27 how you doing squirrel small you are so adorable. the building is just as big relative to you as you are to a oh, Okay, he's actually You're doing the, the comparison. Middle. Okay, it's easy to let's understand. go. In fact, you are in the middle of everything in the universe. Oh. Let's go on a fantastical journey together. Dude, to the small, just change the background and be a badass and see band if painting. Really true. An A320 is oh. 37 meters long. It looks the weird standing up. Word, is around seven centimeters dude is he both actually going like both sides because that is beautiful than you and both fly into continental distances the tiny bird migrates between alaska and mexico i already love this the man bird with the same size as the jet it would circle the earth eight oh let's go every year dinopodera the largest ant in the world oh. is about 55 times smaller than you how do you do i'm not a fan They're of ants but i like what you do have around 100 individuals but no queens Instead, really they ruthlessly compete for stasis. Were you one of the ants in the videos? Which I don't remember you. Point two meters deep. If humans lived like Dinoponera, huh. we'd be building towers <laughs> again. Because Paris is bad. Filled with offices and ruthlessly competing for status. Oh, and, wait. The deadliest and most annoying. <laughs> I was about to say it's is an apartment, man. We literally do that. Times smaller than you. While oh. on the other end, the Empire State ah. Building is about that much larger. <laughs> Let's than go. You. Kind of favorite thing to jump out of something this Spider Man games creates so much devastation for something that big. <laughs> We're getting to the borders of your pain, man. Now. Like coarse grains of sand, about three millimeters. Okay, let's go, man. This is where I was hoping you. you'd go. You can feel their shape and roughness between your fingers, and if you focus, very, see very them hard. individually. We mix them into concrete that can hold up the tallest towers ever built. Like the 828 meter tall Burj Khalifa, Let's that's go. 500 times larger than you. If you that one like cuts people sky, or not you, the sky, but clouds. <laughs> in your hand. Oh, hey, yeah, man, be gentle. Anything smaller or bigger, it and it breaks the fourth wall. It's weird. Grasp. A medium-sized city like Lisbon is about oh, 6,000 times larger than yourself. You just blocked Lisbon on there. I got you. Permeated by a network of highways, roads, and alleys. It's... On the other end, about Thank 6, you. times smaller than you. Oh, are your small arteries, arteries. okay. Your whole body. Actually, that is true. You're in the middle that would be the your network of blood vessels yeah, and network your network. Of a city like Lisbon. If you think of a city as a living being, it's you your lungs and stuff. Allies. I say it. <laughs> a small alley is as small to the city. God, I love their compa comparisons, man. millimeters wide is to you. Your tiniest capillaries are to you what the pipes bringing water to homes are to Lisbon. It's so Going cool. Further, 100,000 times smaller than Oh, you, let's go even further. Skin cell about 30 micrometers in diameter. Freaking Goku up in here. Even big, further beyond. And one of your red blood cells is merely 7 micrometers. They are a as small to you as you are to the entire Tokyo metropolitan area. Okay, let's just have the entire in the world. I was going to say Tri-State area. Doofenshmirtz. You are so incredibly big, filled with so much complexity, oh, so many we look like that? moving parts. 
Or are you just a cell in the human civilization's superstructure? Are you both? Are Our you steps both? Are getting larger and I'm larger starting to now. think we're both. Germany is around 875 uh, kilometers from not north stopping. to south. Huge the chunks. fourth biggest agricultural exporter in the world. Rhizobia is a nitrogen-fixing bacteria up to three micrometers long, and without it, that sort of agricultural production is impossible. So we have a country and a bacterium Man, depending on each other. This is beautiful. I didn't think he'd actually like roughly compare everything together like this. Larger or smaller than you. What about the whole Earth? It's okay. About Twelve thousand seven hundred kilometers in diameter, about seven point seven billion times larger than you. On Just the a little bit of scale beefy. is corny bacteria, as little I'm as sorry? zero point three micrometers across, living on your skin and eyes, along with one hundred billion other bacteria. More I knew than that. Ten times more than there are humans South Park on episode. Earth. Again, you're in the center, right in the middle of something so large that our civilization is a mere scratch on its surface. That's, and that's so ridiculous to think about, you man. Notice its presence even as it touches you. Does it's that like, not, we're technically small, in the middle still. Big? From here on out, your brain is breaking a bit. Ah, I, I got it. wider than Earth is Neptune, a cold blue gas giant, 49,500 so, We're not even going to comprehend the tiniest the thing, are we? Oh, we we'll keep going. Jupiter, 140,000 kilometers in diameter. Remember when I said a Earth was a beefy boy? Shrouded in terrible winds. You could drop Earth whole into its depths, and it would simply vanish. Ah! On the opposite scale, uh, take the, the glass planet West for you. Nile virus, oh, yeah, that's bad. Diameter. Or one step down, the spike proteins Almost didn't on see a coronavirus there. that open up cells for its RNA payload. Does it look like you're smiling? They are as small to you as you are to the planet Jupiter. You are in the middle between gigantic that, planets that's and crazy, the world of man. viruses. These tiny things, so deadly. Got Let a point that there. Sink in. A tiny virus is taking over and killing lung cells up to 500 times larger than itself with the help of a tiny protein weapon. God, dude. That's like you trying to kill a giant <laughs> the size of the Burj Khalifa Let's with go. a screwdriver. I got this. <laughs> but the real boss of the solar system is the sun. Just bust out my Ten intro. Times bigger than Jupiter, a billion times larger than you, controlling all the planets and source of all energy that drives life. A billion times smaller than you, clearly the boss of our body, is a DNA strand containing all the information making your life possible. You're right in the it's middle of the most important factors you, keeping or at least your puzzle alive. pieces. From here on, things just kind of stop making sense. A they did before. Already too much, but now everything just seems to mean a lot. Yeah. The supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A star, oh. is fourteen point five I remember times you. bigger than you. A hydrogen atom is fifteen that music five going? billion times smaller than you. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But the thing is, we're not even close to being done, Sure. And it's not impossible to get at least a sense of how these scale. Let me see it, man. The solar system is twenty-two ah. times larger than you. On the other end of the scale is the wavelength of low energy neutrinos released from fusion reactions in our sun. About a hundred what? trillion of them are passing through you every single second, like ghosts a trillion times smaller than you. Something they just flew in me. Any of the particles inside you. Speaking of Ant-Man. If you moved through the solar system in a straight line, you probably wouldn't hit anything either. Although things are beginning to get really Again, the now. perspective, a man. A proton at the heart of the hydrogen atom is almost exactly one quadrillion times smaller than you. Oh, if the proton almost were exact, as big huh? as you, the hydrogen atoms sit in would it? be taller than 12 Mount Everest. Oh, never mind. On the other end, we meet something that just breaks human brains. The incredible vastness of space. We just have no reference for these Isn't it always expanding, though? The distance to the closest star to Earth, Alpha Centauri, is not one quadrillion times in the other direction from the tiny proton, but 24 quadrillion. Oh. Space is just so large, it's yeah. kind of mean. And it goes on like a little this. bit. It's not Quinn its fault, right? Smaller than you is the strange world of the oh, quarks. quarks. The proton Quark. is not actually like a tiny ball, but kind of just a ripple on the surface of the ocean of quarks. Every moment, countless quarks pop into existence along with their antiparticle enemies before doing furious battle and annihilating each other in an instant. How okay, many? as you do, Impossible I guess, man. Say, because the harder you look for them, the more quarks seem to appear. Uh -huh. We're so much. It's Isn't that like that uh, anyway. Futurama joke? We choose to illustrate about this, like it's measuring. Wrong. What actually is a quark? Change the outcome by measuring it or something like that. Minds? Nobody knows. Oh. 
As you sit here confused, let's look up again. I'm I don't know. The I'm filled with like positivity if that makes any sense. The atom of a single cell of your body is as small to you as you are compared to a sphere around 174 light years. It's like across, nothing matters yet everything matters, stars. you know. And this is just a tiny speck. Fills me with hope, which is seem weird. The Milky Way is close to one sextillion times larger than you. At the yes. end, we have particles a sextillion times smaller than yourself. Like the wavelength of high energy neutrinos released when cosmic rays hit our atmosphere. Yeah, I don't want to say you're grasping straws at this point, but the okay. observable universe is 93 billion light years in diameter. Close to a billion, billion, billion human lengths. But it's still finite. <laughs> it's only 465 Stop saying only <laughs> side by side. We can't say if only the with these numbers. Our galaxy, the observable universe hey. will be a day's drive across. On the other How's end of that scale, for we have perspective. the particle ever detected. Almost broke my brain. A proton traveling so close to the speed of light, OMG it got squished into a pancake. Huh. As small compared to you, as the whole observable universe is big to you. We're at the border of things that we oh, have come small. back. Are you truly in the middle of everything? The theoretical smallest physical distance is the Planck length. A hundred million times smaller than even the pancake. Whoa! Proton. But we don't know if it's real. Only that our theories of the universe break down here. Like we gotta go to the, the quantum end, zone. Does the bigness of the universe like literally? The Not even of joking. The length. You just well sh actually, keep shrinking. The universe could be considerably larger than that, but we will never know. And that's Let's what I love. And the mystery the of it. Again. Oh! Oh, my favorite part. Let's there go! Are so many big things and so many small things wrapped up in them. <laughs> it's like literally like rockets fixing to like hit each other in the middle, exactly man. The right Almost size. there! Let's go! You, in the middle. Oh, that was beautiful. How do you try to get it exactly right, say, when you have to make a big choice, like buying a new mattress? You I, probably compare trustworthy trial and, error. and test out a few models. But what if you plan to spend money on something you can't just return to the seller? And the decision doesn't just affect knowledge your what back. give well I is you know I have a way to oh. a rigorous resource for a different kind of purchase donation a donation who's a give for? wells mission is to let donors make informed decisions about high impact giving that's why they've oh. now spent over 15 years researching charitable organizations and only direct it's all of them a few of the highest impact opportunities they've found oh. in global health and poverty alleviation important ones I guess and why we trust their judgment let's go you can dude. find all of their research and recommendations on their site for free oh. over 100,000 donors have used give well to donate that's so more good than 1 billion helpful dollars. everyone help These people donations have oh my the God. potential to save over 150,000 lives and improve the lives of millions more oh that's so good if you've never donated through give well before you can have your donation matched up to 100 dollars before the end of the year or as long as matching funds last that is Donations amazing made through them are tax deductible and give well doesn't take a cut to okay match, holy shit to give sounds well. amazing pick youtube and enter kotzkzart at checkout to i just get might have donation to donation matched it actually matched my donation i can help people but like twice i am so glad i picked this one for the christmas <laughs> I just took a shot in the dark there, man. Oh, thank you. All right, ending it strong on Christmas. Started with Christmas, have to end it there, man. Oh, this... thanks to all of you oh, out there you're not done. for all the love and support. We wish you a peaceful and cozy Aww. turn of the year. That's See you beautiful. Back at full throttle in January. See you then. It's a good thing I picked this week then. Man, things went really, really perfect, huh? That's beautiful. Everything about this was beautiful. All right, man. This this video was weird for me. Like, it filled me with, like, just joy. Like, really, really, like, comforting emotions and stuff like that, which is really, really weird because, like, I don't know. Like, to me, I always think of the bigger things. Like, I never take a step to, like, zoom in, you know? Like, look at the smaller things that are, like, technically still the same, like, what he was literally saying the entire video you know like how you have this building but the squirrel is the same size in comparison like you know it's as small as you are the building to you that's making no sense but you understand you saw the video <laughs> all in all man that was that was beautiful like it, 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 i'm trying to explain why it made me feel positive but like i really don't know i guess it's because like I always thought like forward you know just bigger 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 which obviously makes me shrink but like if you go the other way of like smaller things then essentially like 
lack of a better term, like, you are the center of everything, you know? Like, if you put it in comparison, like he was talking about in this video, you know, if you measure it that way, then, yeah, you are pretty much in the center of things, like, no matter how far you go, and to me, that, that was really, really, really important, you know? It's not necessarily, like, a prep talk that, like, you're the greatest you can be, you deserve, like, everything, so, not, no, like, nothing like that, but, like, it's more comforting in the way of, like, okay, well, everything is around you, you can't really control anything, but it's not everything is bigger than you you know like there's other stuff that is smaller than you and like if you take a step back and like appreciate that appreciate like literally everything kind of like how i do when i react to a minecraft animation you know like all the pieces coexist together so perfectly that's essentially life man that's like <laughs> the universe like if you want to keep zooming out that's what that is you know so it's like having that perspective in the form of this video where i could like in a nutshell it always does man bite-sized pieces to where i can actually like process what i'm reading or what i'm looking at you know it's just it's nothing short of amazing man and the videos are always so informative so good and just all around funny man the comedic aspect of it of the birds dancing around on screen and stuff like that it's it's beautiful and the fact that like i have a lot more coming up so this week all science week if i miss some i hope i don't but like if i don't have time for some then i'm gonna squeeze them in somewhere else is what i'm trying to say but all in all man fantastic i'm so excited for science week and merry christmas and everything still it's still the holidays but <laughs> for me it's technically a day before but it's christmas eve for me so it's it's still christmas eve so <laughs> thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos a day early and check out the merch so with that said i have been master zero you guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days